I've talked about this before. I've talked about the coffee, and I've talked about the coffee in regards to giving people brain damage, because one eight ounce cup of coffee cuts blood flow to the brain by 52%. And that effect isn't gonna sort of go away very quickly, because caffeine has a half-life, I believe, of six hours. So it's gonna take a long time to get out of your system. Now, if you wanna see how bad coffee is for your blood flow to your brain, go to, the, go to YouTube right now and put in ABC, the American news company ABC, and the word MRI, which stands for Magnetic Resonance Imaging, and put caffeine. So ABC, MRI, caffeine, and you'll see an experiment where, again, the lady is got put through an MRI with or with and without drinking coffee. And as soon as she drinks the coffee, your blood flow in the brain goes down substantially. The neurologist on staff looking at the MRI eyeballs it at 40%. But if you go to uh, the book Caffeine Blues by Stephen Chernisky, you'll see it's around 52%. Now, why I'm telling this story again is that when I used to drive certain cars, I noticed the Mercedes car, the newer cars, it would always tell me to take a break. <laughs> and I wonder why. So if you drive too far on a sort of a newer Mercedes model, it would flash and kind of say you need to take a break. And I think it's not the distance covered that initiates that response. It's sort of like if you're weaving if you're having a hard time keeping between the lines, the things so that you get prompted to take a break. But on the newer Mercedes models, when you're prompted to take a break, it flashes the coffee cup. And again, in, in hypnosis, in mind control and brainwashing, the most repetitive content will actually form your beliefs for you. So the more a TV show or a movie has a coffee cup, like a takeout coffee cup, one of those clay coffee mugs, a coffee shop like the Central Perk in the sitcom Friends. And there's many examples of it. Basically, coffee, whether it's a takeout coffee cup, one of those porcelain coffee mugs, a coffee shop, or even a coffee machine on the back counter of a restaurant or the back counter of, of a kitchen, this is absolutely the most common content in all Hollywood film. It won't take you more than 15 minutes to watch any Hollywood film and you will get your view of one of those four things. And if you, if you miss it, if you miss it in the first 15 minutes, just email me at jason at freedomfromselfsabotage.com and I'll guarantee you missed it. I'll find it myself and send it back to you because this is how prolific these coffee images are. And again, Mercedes is in on it with this, you know, take a break, go to the coffee shop. Because of this effect, the coffee gives you the brain damage. And not only, it's a very particular form of brain damage where you get the, you know, when you're getting 50% less blood flow and oxygen to the brain, it triggers what's called a fight or flight response or an activation of the limbic system. Now, if your limbic system is activated, your prefrontal cortex, which is sort of like the CEO, of your thinking <clears throat> structure, it goes to sleep. <laughs> so you're not gonna be able to make really intelligent and logical decisions. Now, if you're in the ruling position, if that's all you've done for generations and generations is you're the human farmer and everybody is looked at as human cattle, the easiest way to be, it's easier to sort of run a human farm when all the human cattle aren't thinking properly. And people don't even notice, like the Mercedes, and Mercedes is not the only car manufacturer that's in on this con job. You notice all the car manufacturers are now switching over to electric so that you can't get out of your city. <laughs> that's why they're switching to all electric and they're taking funds from certain big companies so that the paves their way very easily for their shareholders. But if you look at the Mercedes emblem, like how many people are missing that? It's a circle. So imagine the full circle is 100%, and then you have the circle, the Mercedes logo breaks the circle into three equal parts. Well, three equal parts of 100% is 33.3. .3. 
I'm not too sure if anybody knows what that means. Hopefully, if you're listening to me, you understand the uh, significance of the number 33. So you can see there's some shenanigans going on with every aspect that your eyes roll over. They, they control what you see and then they control your behavior because your natural behavioral system, the one that comes with you, comes as standard equipment on the human body. It's designed to mimic, copy, and emulate the most repetitive content of whatever tribe you're born into so that you can copy it and mimic it and so you can fit in. So they don't want you out in nature. They don't want you with your tribe. They don't want you with the family. They don't want you in a village. They don't want you learning the old way you used to learn through sort of natural repetitive content. They want to control the repetitive content you see at all times. That's another reason they want to lock you down and you have no mobility so they can control everything your eyes roll over because they know that there's a special part of the brain called the subconscious always counting repetitive content and it will make you act out and live out that repetitive content in an attempt to bond with the bigger herd and find safety with the bigger group and you'll do it automatically it's an automatic defense mechanism it's just it's just like your heart rate you don't even have to get involved it just does it and this is why they're putting the coffee cups in, inside your brain because it gives you a very particular form of brain damage. It makes the slavery feel groovy. It puts the shit eating grin on your face when you're doing a job you hate. Caffeine makes you do boring jobs longer. And if you're running a human farm that spiritually puts you in spiritual deficit, you're always going to be depressed and mundane. You're going to be down. You're going to be dysfunctional. You're going to have dark thoughts. They need you on this psychoactive drug called caffeine so that you don't feel the full extent of your slavery. So just be very careful. And when you see these coffee cups and coffee mugs and coffee shops and coffee machines on the background in your TV or your movies, know that there's guys with jobs. That's their only job is to... <clears throat> put all these symbols throughout the background as to control you and the people who are ruling you I mean it's a certain group ruling you out of Hollywood because these guys have mastered the fine art of human manipulation now if you want more information like this so that you can pick out who's screwing you over and maybe how to unscrew yourself and sidestep all their screwing around of you and your family Email me at jason at freedomfromselfsabotage.com. I'll put you on my email list and I'll slow drip you some free information over time to give you a better advantage, give you a leg up on what's going on. This is Jason Christoph signing off. Thank you for listening.